This may be Beretta's waterfowler's edge, but it's the heart of bird hunting in the fabulous heart of Argentina. It's like wow. the snow geese on the Arkansas prairie here. They're coming, they're coming. Right here, right here. Rosie, middle, middle. Pretty, nicely done. Welcome to Argentina, my friend. Here go, Rosie. We're down here hunting ducks in what I think is absolutely the greatest duck hunting place in the entire world. There's absolutely no place like Argentina when it comes to leisure. I mean, there's just nothing about Argentina that's rivaled anywhere in the world in terms of volume, in terms of diversity. Truly, the finest days of wing shooting anywhere in the world are found right now in Argentina. I'm gonna take them all. Take them. Single. Rosie, great. Woo, dead bird. That's the way to do it, huh? Rosie's. One drink. One drink in the middle. Woo. Good night. Macro. To the right, what do we got here? Shoveler? 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Look at that Drake. Look at that dead Drake. Drake Rosie built right there. Get him. <laughs> I just love that shot. You know, Steve Ferris is one of those really subtle guys. He does, this camera, just... does this camera make my ass look fat? <laughs> As he drops these, these hints like, hey Chris, I've never been to Argentina before. Anyway, this priest walks into the fish market. <laughs> you know, so is the duck hunting as good as I hear it is in Argentina, Chris? The thing I find challenging about this kind of shooting is that the birds are moving. <laughs> But this guy is a certifiable duck nut. There's too many species here. I like it when they all have green heads. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Who better than somebody like that to come to Argentina? Pick out the drakes, get them, get them, get them. That's more better. better. And then of course, Willie Schmidt, good pal of mine from Denver. Bintail. Bintail. That was the drake, you got him, nice shot. Very active in Ducks Unlimited, very active in his own conservation, loves to hunt ducks. Yeah, watch these rosies. Yeah. The rosies are coming to the right. I'll help you out. I'll shoot the right. All right. The worldwide reputation Argentina enjoys for unrivaled bird hunting is justly deserved. And for wing shooters, searching for some of the very finest bird hunting in Argentina, it's just a short plane ride from the capital of Buenos Aires to Entre Rios province and Carlos Sanchez's Las Ambuas Lodge. You know, I've heard about Carlos Sanchez since I first started coming to Argentina, which was almost 20 years ago. And he's really a legend down here and with good reason. It's just, it's amazing to me, it's taken as long as it has to finally get to his place, Los Hombres, which there just is nothing finer anywhere in the world, certainly not in Argentina. And I think what's amazing about this place is you've got this incredible diversity of birds. You've got world-class duck hunting, as fine as there is in all of Argentina. Fantastic dove shooting, anything that would rival Cordoba. And then of course, the Perdiz. What's magical about this experience is you can do it all right here. You're right on the property, which is very, very unique in Argentina. Normally you're looking at a half hour to an hour, sometimes an hour and a half drive just to get a duck hunting spot in Argentina. Here, you're 10 minutes out the door. But to sit in a place like this, overlooking this incredible wetland complex, just ducks flying around, I mean, it's, it's got the full atmosphere. And I think the difference is, this facility has been built, this incredible lodge has been built with the idea of entertaining duck hunters, duck hunters. Just unrivaled. There is nothing better anywhere in the world. Rosie, get him. Two drakes, get him. Double, double, double. Single, single. None, none, <laughs> none. All right, get out of the way. Drake, Drake Rosie. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that was a seven, eight foot lead there. Ring teal, ring teal, get him, get him, get him, ring teal. Ring teal, ring teal. 
There you go, got him. Nice. He's a speckle. <laughs> Take a bow. But there were birds like crazy. I mean, if you hunt ducks enough, you see this in places, you get to see where they're coming in from everywhere. But I think the exciting thing is just a new adventure of all these species you've never seen before. And they're just piling in this place. I mean, group after group after group after group. Whoa! Bada bing! Ah, nicely done. Ducks in Argentina open up an entire new world for U.S. waterfowlers. In one hunt, a hunter can take several species of ducks he may never have even heard of before. Ducks from the magnificent silver teal to the brown pintail, white-faced tree duck, cinnamon teal, yellow-billed pintail, and the most emblematic of Argentine ducks, the rosy-billed poacher, can all set into the decoys on any given day. Load drake. Drake. Look at this. Look at this. Get in. Load drake. I don't know where that shot's going. <laughs> No Drake. Here he comes. Oh, yeah. Get him, get him, Willie, get him, Willie. Get him, Willie. Nice. You know, the one treat about coming to Argentina being in the Southern Hemisphere is that it being their fall, it's a great way to break up kind of the monotony of uh, the lack of hunting in the, in the States at this time of year. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well done. Oh, yeah. So being able to come down here and get some tremendous wing shooting where you, you really aren't hunting much other than clay targets in the States is an added bonus. I like that. That's fun. To the right. Nope, I don't have my gun. Go for it, guys. Go for it. Double. <laughs> Double. <laughs> right there. Almost took you out. Nice <laughs> Thanks for having me down here, Chris. <laughs> Tree knocks right here. Get him. I like duck hunting. Because I know he's nearby, I just can't tell where. Get ready. There you go, Billy! There you go. Steve-O! Beretta's Waterfowler's Edge is brought to you by Beretta. 500 years, one passion. Otis Technology, the most advanced gun care systems in the world. Meriwether Ranch, the nation's first private residence club for the outdoorsman. Loophole Optics, America's optics authority. Remote Locations, Secrets of Making Outdoor TV, a 150-page full-color book from Orion Multimedia. And by Final Approach, the Waterfowler's Company. The Purdy's, South America's most unique upland bird, is a ground dweller, holds tight to cover until flushed, and usually rises in singles rather than coveys. This Purdy's is Spanish for partridge, but they're not actually a partridge, because they're actually related to the Reyes, which is in the ostrich family, because you look at these birds, they have no tail whatsoever when they fly. They give you this dipsy doodle because the tail is the rudder, and they don't have one. And the reason they're called Perdiz, if you want to know the rest of the story, my friends, oh, since you I'm, asked, I'm dying. since point. you asked, the conquistadors came to South America. They had the red-legged partridge, Perdiz, in Spain. So they saw these birds flush and they said, Perdiz, and it stuck. Clearly you know nothing about the Perdiz. And now you know the rest of the story. Now is when the hunter in Argentina needs pointers and flushers. Like the pointer mixes Blackie and Rosie, who can nose out the tightly holding Perdiz and get him up into the air in front of the hunter's gun. Watch those dogs, good birdie. Look at that nose work. Yeah, that's beautiful. awesome. Here he goes. So this is an absolute shotgunner's nice. paradise. That's all there is to it. If you like feathers, you like good dogs, you like shotguns and good company, buddy, this is home. My first pair of D's. 28 gauge, right to over and under. Buddy. I have no history with Perdiz hunting. This is the first time I've ever been. It's a unique bird to this area of the world. And it was great fun to go out and do it. Upland game is always fun with dogs. Bueno, muy bien, mucho bien. And all this time you came down here to play music and you could have been doing this, huh? Yeah, well I knew I was in the wrong thing. <laughs> 
first time to Argentina. Obviously, it's my first Perdiz hunt as well, and we went on a Perdiz hunt on our first afternoon. He says, I know he's nearby, I just can't tell where. Be ready. He's got to be in here somewhere. This is the same bird he's been working since the corner back there. Tough setting conditions. Got a runner. There he goes, Willie! Nice. Nicely ah. done, Willie! Nicely that done. That dog worked that bird Absolutely. for a long way. I like that, like I like that. This is the center of the universe right here, and getting out after those Perdiz, it's, it's a lot of fun. They get out with a hell of a lot of speed. If there's a little bit of a breeze out there, even more speed, they virtually always go downwind. So it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a social activity. It's fun to kind of mix up the game. Oh, yeah. You get a very different shot when you're in a duck blind than you do in a field. And of course, on a Perdiz, point and shoot. I mean, it's very much instinctive shooting. That's a dead bird in Argentina is, is unmatched. It's absolutely unmatched. Whoa, behind you! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah. Woo! Come on! Come nice on! Back done. me up, Ferris. That was a long poke. Come on, dead too. I might add. Whoa, look at this. All right, Blackie's got the bird. The other one's backing. Look at that. There you go. You ready, Steve-O? Steve-O! Nice. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Pretty dog work, pretty shooting. Sweet. Here we go. Blackie's on something. The pup is just backing. We got the wind in our favor now. There we go. Good start. <laughs> oh. Over the points, boys. Over the points. You gotta love that.